Welcome back guys. Today we're going to work on the evil. We got a couple parts in. Let's go ahead and uh, open them up. Alright, this first box is from Trident Psycho Supplied. I bought a uh, fender support. Because the Evo is going to be a two up, so this is going to support the, uh, the fender a lot better. I want it to, you know, for it to be strong. All right, so how it works is you put this right under the fender. Like that, and then you weld it to the sissy bar. All right, next, this should be my sprockets and uh, train plate. I bought everything on VulcanWorks.net. This is a new training plate. Nice and thick. This is the chain I got, it's 530. This is the uh, transmission sprocket spacer. I also bought new exhaust flanges for the Evo. New gaskets and uh, hardware. This should be my uh, this should be my front sprocket. I went with a uh, 22T. And right here is my rear sprocket. Went with a uh, 49. These are the parts that I got today. All right, first we're gonna install the rear sprocket.
All right, next, gonna take off the tranny. All right, here's a moment of truth. This is the five speed train plate. This is the four speed. This one, this one's a little bit thicker. As you can see right there. All right, got the front sprocket and rear sprocket on. Next, I'm gonna put the starter back on. The next thing I need to do is to put the chain on to make sure everything is straight. When everything is uh, square away, I need to make my sissy bar, mount my fender, and then uh, mount the oil tank. Pretty much all the welding. And then after that, I need to uh, figure out what belt drive I want to go with. There's a bunch of different brands I need to uh, research. And then after that, I gotta mount my exhaust, make brackets for it. But yeah, bike is coming together. I think once the uh, sissy bar goes on, it will complete the look. Because right now, 
from the rear, it looks like it's missing something. And then I gotta mount my tank too. For the headlight, I'm gonna do the same, like the shovel head. I'm gonna add a toggle switch. Just keep it simple, you know? But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you guys next time.